Hi, my name is Lauren, um, and for today's reading, I'll be uh, reading from Isaiah chapter 60, uh, verse 1 through 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. I don't know about anybody else, but that scripture just like really, really, really hits home to say, wake up, what are you doing? And as I was like studying, you know, Isaiah, this is, is talking about Jesus coming um, to be our light, right? So basically kind of how I, how I broke down this scripture when I was thinking through it, um, was I, I felt like there was four different things that God was trying to tell me through the scripture. And the first one is, God is calling us and he, to, we have a mission, right? We have to be his vessels to be the light of the world. The second thing was, okay, if we know we have to be the light um, and be a vessel of Jesus to bring heavens down to earth, how do we do that? And where's the clarity in that within this scripture? And it was just that, you know, we're called to be imitators of Christ. We have, and the world is covered with darkness. So we have to push into the presence of God and really know that like it's his light to shine, that he is in us and if we press into his presence, then he's the redeemer and he can restore us and he can heal us um, and he will shine bright in us to shine into the world. So um, yeah, with that, like to sum that up, I guess is self-transformation, right? Self-transformation has to come through Jesus. It says the glory appears over you. So when you push into him, he can live in us, but he, we have to allow him to restore us, to fill us with the light so then we can give out. So the third key point kind of is that self-transformation through Jesus. Then secondly, in the last verse here, it says, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. And I took that so seriously because I was, as I was reading the scripture and it's saying, wake up, you know, go to Jesus and let him heal you and restore you and get his light, walk in his path, not your own. Don't walk in the darkness. Um, you know, the world is gonna be full of it and you can't take those steps. You have to choose Jesus and say, I'm following him. I'm letting him fill me with his light. That's gonna look different for every single person. That might, that might be healing. Um, that might be restoring, um, you know, it's gonna look different for all, all different kinds of people. But when we allow God to do that, when we sit at his feet and allow him to pour his light into us in whatever way that is in your own life right now, you are then called to say, let's give that light out, right? The gates open, heaven came down. We have that ability to allow Jesus into us, to have his light be the glory over our lives and in our lives, to go out and transform the nation. So that to me was just a call to wake up go out into the city, get filled with Jesus's light, not the darkness of the world, so that we can spread the light to our city to transform nations. Yeah, and then with that, like, I just, you know, really hope that this message for other people as well um, is speaking to them that life is gonna be hard. Um, there's darkness in the earth, just like it says, but our only hope, um, you know, God's light is the only hope for the world. So we have to just push into, into Jesus. So I'm just gonna pray over that. I'm just gonna pray that you know our strength and our light is coming from being in the presence of God and inviting the Holy Spirit into our lives and not in the, in the darkness ways of the world because it's not gonna give you anything. The only hope comes from the world. So <clears throat> let me just pray over you really quick. Um, so you can take this throughout the week and just, you know, let it uh, cover you in prayer. So Lord, I just thank you so much um, for, you know, the, the power and everything of that your presence can offer us in our life. Lord, I just thank you so much for giving us Jesus to come down to earth and to be the light in our lives, to restore us so that we have light. And I just want to pray, Father, that for those of you, that, for those people that don't know the light, that haven't seen the light, that think they should walk in the ways of the wicked world and are searching for hope, they will never find it. So I just, I just pray that you cover them and I pray that you use the people that know your name to press deeper into you, to sit into your presence, Lord. Let's let that soak into our lives so that we can be the vessels of your light for those who don't know it. So I just love you so much. 
much. And I just thank you so much that you've given us the Holy Spirit to come into our lives to honor you and to bring glory to the earth. We pray all this in your son's name. Amen.